Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Intruder Security. Offensive Security has just released the latest version of Kali Linux 2023.3. We will be seeing the step-by-step -step guide for installation of latest version of Kali Linux. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So for the installation of Linux, we need VirtualBox and Kali Linux ISO file. We already have a video on the installation of VirtualBox 7.0. Please do refer that video from our channel to install the VirtualBox in your Windows. Now let's get the latest version of Kali Linux ISO file. To do so, open up your browser and search for Kali Linux. Now open up the first link. This is the official website of Kali Linux. You can get all the resources related to Kali Linux here. Click on the download button to proceed for the downloading step. So here we have multiple types of installation file for different devices. We will be using the installer images for our virtual machine. You can also use the pre-built VM instead of the bare images but I recommend you to install the bare images ISO file. This will help you to customize your Linux as per your choice. So let's download the installer images. Scroll down and click on the download button to download the 64-bit of Kali Linux. If you want an 32-bit ISO file, you can also download the 32-bit version of it. Your download will begin in few seconds. The download file is almost a 4 gigabytes so it will take time. Wait till the download gets finished. So we have successfully downloaded the ISO file. Let me open the downloads folder to see the file. So you can see the multiple ISO files, including the Kali Linux 2023.3 version. As we have the ISO image, let's start the installation of this ISO image. Open up your virtual box. Again, if you don't have virtual box downloaded and installed, please do refer our previous video for the same. The link is in the description box. We have our virtual machine running. You may don't have this virtual machines in your virtual box. Let's get started with the installation of the our ISO file. Click on the new to create a new virtual machine. Now it's asking us for some details related to our machine. Give your virtual machine a name here. Let's give it Kali Linux 2023.3. Now select the folder in which you want to store the files of this virtual machine. I will store the files in my another disk. Now select the ISO file which we downloaded earlier. Here is the Kali Linux ISO file. You can see the version is 2023.3. Let's open it. Now the virtual box will automatically configure the type of ISO file. Though it has detected the type as Ubuntu, we will be changing it later. Now it is asking for the RAM and the processor you would like to give to your virtual machine. I recommend you to give more than 2 GB RAM and two processors. For now, I will give 3 GB RAM and two processors. Now we have to create a virtual hard disk for our VM. I recommend you to give 50 GB if you are going to use your VM frequently. For the demonstration purpose, I will keep it same. So here is the summary of the virtual machine you have created. Okay, so as we have created our machine, we still have some settings which is to be done before we start our machine. Go to settings from the menu. Now first we have to change the version of the Linux we are using. As the Kali Linux is of Debian version, choose Debian 11 from the settings menu. Now go to advanced settings. For copy pasting your files from your host machine to virtual machine change disabled to bidirectional. Now you can just drag and drop to copy paste your files from your machine to VM. We have done everything in general tab. Let's go to System, Open Processor, and click on Enable PAE. Now keep the rest of the settings same. 
we are good to start up our virtual machine. Click on OK to save your VM settings and click on Start to start the installation of Kali Linux. It will take few seconds to power up your VM. Here we go. We are inside the installation menu of our Kali Linux. You can use arrow keys to select one of these options. Use Graphic Installer to proceed for installation. Wait for a few seconds. Here it is asking for the preferred language. I am comfortable with English so I will proceed with it. Now it is asking for the location you live in. I will select India. You can select your own location. Let's continue. Configure your keyboard. It's asking for the keyboard variant you are comfortable with. If you use the different keyboard configuration, you may have some different keys in your keyboard. For now, I will stick with American English. So it will now load some installation component. It will take few seconds. Configure the host name. Keep it default and continue. Domain name. This is also an unnecessary step. Keep it blank and continue. Now it is asking for the full name of the user using this virtual machine. You can use your name. I will keep it as Kali. The username of the VM. I will keep it same. You can use your preferred one. The password. Keep a good simple password which you can remember. This will be required while you log in and also for the root privileges. I will keep it Kali. You can set your own. Now it will automatically detect the hard disk which we created before. As we are installing it in VirtualBox, you can go ahead with Use Guided Use Entire Disk Partition Mode. Now select the hard disk which we made from VirtualBox. OK, so if you are new to Kali Linux or specifically Linux, you are not aware of how is the directory structure of the Linux. So use all files in one partition and move forward. But if you are experienced user, you can select one of this option as per your choice. Now here is the summary of the partitions which we made using the guided mode. Click on continue. Now click on yes to agree for the changes we made in disk. It is now installing the base system in your computer and it will take some time. So now it is asking for the software we need in Kali Linux. Keep everything same and just add Genome Desktop Environment to the selected list. Genome is one of the best desktop variant you will encounter in Linux. You can also use KDE Plasma as a choice, but it will just take more of your space in your disk. So continue with Genome. Now it will install all the software you need. Just get a cup of coffee and sit back till it asks more details. Here it is asking for the display manager you need. You can proceed with the default 1GDM3. We have almost completed our installation of Kali Linux. All we need is an Grob bootloader. This will boot your machine whenever you click Start button. Click on Yes and continue. Now select the location of the Grob bootloader to be installed. Use the default hard disk of VirtualBox. The installation is almost done. Your virtual machine will restart soon and will redirect you to login panel. So you can see we have completed the installation of Kali Linux. You can log in with the password you entered while installation. Here we go. Now customize your Kali Linux as of your choice and start exploring new tools. Hope you like this simple and quick installation video. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Till then stay safe and happy hacking.